You're watching Sunbelt Football on ESPN. We welcome you to a wet Veterans Memorial Stadium here in Troy, Alabama. We've got a swack Sunbelt battle for you as Alabama A&M in town to take on Troy. Third down in 10. Of course, Coach Wood telling us that the big engine for their defense is that front seven. Let's see what they'll do here on third down and 10. Rolling to his left is Langford, and it's picked off. The Trojans come up with a big interception to deny Alabama A&M inside the red zone. And with that interception, that was Palmer. How about Tyon Palmer, the transfer from NC State. Third down, 10 yards to go. Last seven years, Troy is seventh in the country enforcing negative plays. They could use a negative play here to force a fourth down. And they get that play. Boy, I tell you what, they try to keep it on the ground, and Eglin ran into a wall. A disruptor, and we talked about these guys. TJ, uh, he's he's one of the younger guys on this defense. Had a sophomore. He had two tackles last week and a fourth fumble at Ole Miss. Big play there tonight at home. Zach Alvarez with a 48-yard field goal attempt to give Alabama A&M the lead, and it is good. Running pro-style offense here, the home team is, uh, for the first time in a long time. A little flea flicker. And Watson looking for Stottlemyre, and it's picked off at the 20-yard line. As Coach Craddock went into his gadget plays, but Moses Douglas makes the pick his first of the season. Did get the hit on Langford there, and there's something to be said for that too, because if you can hit a quarterback early, make him a little uncomfortable, it can be the difference in the night. Uh, and the difference so far, Watson got hit on the first plate, Langford got hit for the first time just now. And again, the pressure, and the Trojans get to Langford. That's Javon Solomon. Oh, he is a big play. 11.37 left in the first half. Troy has it first down and 10 at its own 20-yard line. A little play action. Watson completes across the middle. And that was Jabri Barber making the catch. Charles Bell with the tackle. Now, they haven't done a great job here tonight. Just seven carries for 19 yards between two rushers, Woods and Vidal. Third down and short. Watson. Pressure. Avoids getting sacked. Still rolling to his right, and it's caught for a first down. And then some. That is Demontrez. Everybody on the line, you knew exactly what was coming at you, and they told Alabama a to stop it, and they could not do it. Watson got lit up. He fumbled it, and Alabama A&M has it. a &M off the field, uh, three and out would be huge as well. And on third and five, they tried a little bit of a draw. And Lewis Medina was annihilated on, on the last drive, and he fumbled the football. You can't really blame him there. He just at, Anyone in their right mind would have fumbled that ball. And then you have that field goal uh, meltdown there as well. It's just not been a great first half in Birmingham. Tonight, this is a, a much different football team than what we saw uh, two weeks ago when they played at UAB. No doubt about that. There's Watson complete to the tight end. Down inside the 40, rumbling down to the 35-yard line, 34-yard line. That's Michael Weiss, the transfer from Sam. It's to go. Troy has all three timeouts. Watson has time, throws underneath, and that's Brown again. Now, it doesn't matter at this point. Got to execute inside the 15. All plane flight rides are fun as, as long as the landing goes well. This is what we're trying to experience right now. And Watson to the end zone, touchdown! That's Ray J. Johnson. He caught a touchdown reception against Ole Miss, and he's got another one here tonight. Rodgers with his second catch of the night. That one went for nine. And a little play action. Watson to Barber. And Barber takes it down inside the 45-yard line. Two passes, two completions. So Barber, four catches for 46 yards, as you mentioned. Five catches last week, Ben. He had 60 yards uh, receiving in that game. So he's over 100 yards receiving this year. Watson's going to go up top again. He's looking near sideline. It is caught, and it's going to be a touchdown for Deoncre Lewis. He had three touchdown receptions last year. He's got one this year now. 
Lewis, the sophomore from the capital city of Montgomery, Alabama, shifted quicker than a politician looking for donate. That uh, he's he's good with just how we getting points. That's all that matters. 15-yard punt by my calculations. So great field position, and Watson up top again. He's had a lot of success, and there's the catch by Barber. And nobody's going to catch Jabri Barber. Touchdown, Troy. Touchdown. You know, you talked about the defense. They only lost John Hines and Kyle Nixon off of last year's starting lineup. So they got nine coming back. Langford in trouble, and he's going to be picked off. And the Trojans come through again. That's Terry Thomas. Eglin has had two carries, last two plays, and there's that pressure again. Another sack, this time Antonio Showers. Showers, the senior from Tucker, Georgia. Well, Sunbelt, look at all the teams that the Sunbelt Conference play today. Arkansas State took on, took on one of the team, uh, top teams in the country, Ohio State. And there wow. is the catch. <laughs> Up at the end of that play. <laughs> Man, watch this again, folks. I mean, just first of all, just the stiff arm. Boom. I wow. think maybe. I mean, they both. Watson again in the shotgun. Near side looking for Johnson again. And a circus catch by Ray J. Johnson. He is having a monster game. <laughs> well, we talked about it. Remember last week, John Summerall was saying how much. He thought his team and his coaching staff made some good adjustments at yeah. half. They've done the same here tonight. That pass is complete. That was Marcus Rodgied. It was 7-3 at halftime, 21-3 right now. Watson to the end zone. Touchdown, Troy. That's Stottlemyre. And that's four touchdown passes on the night for Gunnar Watson. He got one tonight. There's another kid from Georgia, though. Stone Mountain, Georgia. 13 yards. Watson to Stottlemyre. Multiple times here tonight. Yeah, T.J. Jackson out of Millbrook, Alabama. Two tackles for a loss. Or two tackles last week. In yeah, he's the FBS active leader in career passing yards. Now over 10,500. The deep ball, and what a throw. Man. Oh, my goodness. What a throw and a catch. Yeah. Buse in for a 30-yard field goal attempt off the hold of Mike Rivers. And Buse bangs that one through. And the lead now has blossomed to four touchdowns. Casey, see if he'll run it. Yep, he'll go option. And that's Quarles to the pylon. Touchdown. Alabama A&M. It's first touchdown not only tonight, but for the season as well. An absolutely outstanding quarterback play yep. from Troy. Been a fantastic second half for them. He may bust that one loose for a touchdown. They've got some athletes. And he felt like Gunner was doing a lot of good things last week against Ole Miss. And yeah. so that's why And he thought, you know, Gunner was doing everything. They were on the same page. And there's a completion and a touchdown. Look at Peyton Higgins, the freshman from Florence, Alabama. He finds the end zone. All right, first and goal at the one yard line. It's Jemison up the middle. He finds the end zone. And I went and talked to the Alabama A&M folks just to make sure he's the sixth. Wow. I'm the third, the sixth. And Casey goes down on fourth down. There's that Troy pressure and there's Jackson to Troy head coach John Summerall. He now has his first career win as a head football coach. Good work tonight. Ben, how about some final impressions? I thought that Troy grew up a lot at halftime and in going into the second half of this ball game. There's a lot to take away from this. I thought that Alabama A&M grew up a lot in this game as well. Uh, so both teams making great strides as they get into league play. Next week, Alabama A&M's got Austin P at home. Troy heads into the Lions' den at App State and can try to shock the Sun Belt world with an upset on the road next Saturday. Boy, that would be something for John Summerall. Nice conversation there with Coach Maynard. And with that, we will put a bow on our coverage from Veterans Memorial Stadium.